Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiara, if you are new here. And this is going to be a different kind of vlog because I have been sick with COVID. It finally got me after two years. So, um, I've been sick since Sunday. I'm feeling like completely better now. Um, it's been a minute. So I'm finally going to venture out with my mask on and everything and go to the grocery store because we have nothing to eat. Look how long this list is. Like, we have no groceries, we have no meat, we have no milk, we have eggs, which is nice. But all the good stuff is gone. So I thought I'd just vlog like a little bit of a week in my life. Even though today is Wednesday, I was going to vlog like initially like with COVID, but my very first day, my symptoms were so bad. I had a really high fever of like 102.7. Um, then I was coming down from my fever and I was sweating profusely. Um, I also had like body chills, like I was coughing really bad and it was just gross. So I wasn't gonna vlog that day. In the last two days, I've just been like on the couch, you know, feeling better, really not doing much either. Luckily, hello, my boyfriend um, has been feeling completely fine. He has tested negative twice already. So we love that because two sick people in one house, it's just not great because somebody needs to take care of somebody. And when there's two sick people, there's nobody to take care of nobody. <laughs> so yeah, so it's about, 11 30 i need to get ready which is gonna be a lot because i obviously have not gotten ready in like four days so you gotta do that i'm not even gonna like get ready get ready i'm probably gonna put my hair in a wrap and throw on some shorts and a tank top because it's like 100 degrees outside and it's only 11 30 because we're going through a heat wave so yeah this should be fun so I'm gonna go to the grocery store, maybe vlog a little bit, and then I will come home and I will give you guys a grocery haul. This is gonna be like a whole restock grocery haul because like I said, we have nothing. So this is gonna be like all our basics and some. So yeah, if you are new here, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love for you guys to join the family. You can also follow my social media which will be listed down below all right so as you can tell i got ready i am back from the grocery store i'm sweaty because it is like 102 degrees out it's so humid and gross i got a lot of stuff i had to literally put on every inch of counter space that i have this is probably the most money i have spent at the grocery store one because inflation two because we've been sick i haven't gone to the grocery store in a minute but i will give you guys a haul i put everything out because i feel like that's such an easier way of giving guys a haul rather than like pulling one thing out at a time so i went to two grocery stores i'll either put the um total on the screen or i'll um say it at the end i just don't have the receipt in my hand right now but here we go i went to aldi and then um, I will show you guys what I got from Harris Teeter. So first up from Aldi, I got red potatoes, green apples, bananas, two cucumbers, um, blueberries, four avocados, one mango, um, excuse the dirty dishes, <laughs> um, some tortellini, two different kinds, and then some um, ginger and turmeric shots, two packs of butter, two things of parmesan cheese some bread um, olive oil italian dressing two things of peanut butter two things of grilled chicken breasts like already pre-made um, a bag of shredded mozzarella two things of these little mini pizza things frozen shrimp for khalil some and and uh, when you swipe down okay and we got frozen shrimp for Khalil because i don't eat seafood um a bag of just like frozen pasta um some salmon for Khalil, baby carrots hey, whoa 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 none of this is actually for you um and then over here we got two 
bags of Caesar salad, um, some berries for smoothies, and then there's strawberries underneath for smoothies as well. Um, these little strawberry pops that look good. Um, two things of broccoli, some California medley, um, almond milk, regular organic 2% milk because I like to cook with this. Um, I don't really like to cook with almond milk. I think it makes things taste weird. Two things of strawberry lemonade, two things of orange juice. So that is everything that I got from Aldi. And then I went to Harris Teeter because I just needed a few things that Aldi didn't have. So actually I got these two chicken breasts from Aldi. And then from Harris Teeter I got two things of corn, um, pineapple. I got this pineapple chunks that I'm going to put on those pizzas I got. These two things of crushed pineapples because we give those to Willow sometimes. A sweet potato for Willow. Some shredded Parmesan. And two things of vanilla yogurt. So yeah, that is my grocery haul. Grocery haul. Can you say grocery haul? Okay, now I'm going to put all of this together and probably make some lunch out of what I just bought. Actually, before I do that, I can't forget, I did get this cute little plant. I'm pretty sure this is a Rick Rack cactus or a, I think that's how you call it. I don't think it's called a zigzag cactus. I think it's a Rick Rack cactus. I don't know. I'll probably have the name on the screen, but I will tell you guys the price. I also have been loving my Lululemon belt bag. I take this with me all the time when I'm going places quicker where I don't want to um, carry a lot of things with me. I just love it. I have the white one. I really should have got the black one because the white one gets dirty so fast. Okay, so at Aldi, I spent a total of $157.56. I feel like that's the most I've ever spent in one grocery trip. And then at Harris Teeter, I really didn't get that many items. So I only spent $14.47. So, we love inflation, we love adulting, fun. just finished hanging up some um of our vinyls well they're Khalil's vinyls but <laughs> there they are so far we only have six because these clear acrylic um vinyl holders only come in a pack of six they're from amazon i will link them down below i actually just made an amazon storefront so that will always be linked down below and you guys can find things that i mention on there but yeah so i just hung them up the vision is to have them go all the way down we could probably do two more rows maybe three more rows and then we'll add some on this wall as well but yeah so like it'll just be you know you walk straight down the hall you got vinyls vinyls and then like we have our little polaroid wall right here and then i plan on getting some sort of bench right here or something to put like plants on and like making it look cute but yeah so so far we only have these six vinyls we just have um kanye west ray charles sade um tina turner adele and lionel richie so it looks so good i just feel like i don't know I just feel like it looks really, really cool like this. I've seen lots of people do it. Obviously, these acrylic things are made to put your vinyls on the wall, but I've seen a few people on Instagram do this, and I just feel like it's so fun. Um, I wish we had, like, a bigger wall to where, like, we could have the whole wall filled with them. Like, we could put a mirror and, like, take pictures behind it because I feel like that'd be, like, a cool picture background. So, yeah, so I just hung these up. As you saw, I used um, Command, the Velcro Command strips, the set of acrylic shelves come with like screws and stuff but it comes with like two for each shelf and that's a lot of screws to put into the wall so i just found um command strips i use two for each shelf and i feel like it works perfectly so 
I feel like our house is just coming. Oh, I just almost tripped on the couch. But I feel like our house is just coming together really, really nicely. Good morning. Today is Thursday. Just woke up a little bit ago. It's about 11.05. Um, and I decided we need to do some cleaning because, you know, Yes, can we help you? Anyways, need to do some cleaning, clothes working right now. Our bedroom is a disaster. Let me just show you guys how it really is. This is our bedroom, need to put laundry away. Need to fold up some blankets, dirty clothes, more clothes that need to get put away, more clothes. Bed needs to be made, dog, needs to do something with her life. What do you want? It's time to start cleaning by turning a YouTube video on and we gonna montage and clean this room up. So fake. Anything but a views, huh? Just oh, please. Going. I didn't know you were going to come in here. <sighs> I'm here to tell my story. <laughs> we started this relationship as a sham, yo. We're here to scam y'all for the money. clean vacuumed hung these things back up alone because that one fell down and then i just hung up that um that print over there that i got from target but yeah everything is clean bed is made i need to wash the duvet and our other blankets that's why the bed is not really made made but yeah i vacuumed because we have a dog and dog hair is everywhere so Yep, everything's clean. My camera's actually about to die, so we got to charge that, and I'll talk to y'all later. And there's Willow laying in the blankets because she's scared of the vacuum. Hey, guys. So today is Saturday. It's almost 7 p.m. I have not been doing much vlogging. I don't even remember what the last clip I vlogged was, but um, I basically did not do anything yesterday. Anyways. I haven't done anything today. What did I do today? Did not do anything either. I went to the bank um, to deposit some money. Um, oh, I finished reading my book. Um, I've been, I was reading Educated by Tara Westover. Um, comment down below if you've ever read it before what your opinions are on it. I'm about to give my opinion on it. Um, it's taken me a while to read. I've had the book for probably over a year it hasn't taken me over a year to read but it's taken me i don't know maybe six months to read like on and off just because like it's hard for me to read while like i'm in school and having to do readings for school too but um so i finally finished reading it today and so it's a memoir if you don't know so i don't know i it's just i have thoughts about it overall it's a really really good book but it's a very frustrating read because of what Tara went through in the book and like her thought process and things like overall she gives her family like a huge like, like she gives them the benefit of the doubt over everything and at the end of the day she really wants to rekindle her relationship with her mother and like with her family if you have no idea what i'm talking about definitely go read the book but for this moment i'm just going to spiel how i feel about the book um but it's just a frustrating because she's basically talking herself down in the book when she's like really high up and i mean it's not her fault it's her upbringing and like what she's been through 
so that's the frustrating part and then in the end spoiler if you haven't read it she um still wishes to rekindle her family with her mother and her father and her siblings and it's just like after everything they put you through and after everything you went through in life you still like want to rekindle and be back like in your family because they basically like disowned her so like after everything you still want to be a part of the family and just doesn't really make sense to me i talked it out with khalil and um like i get it you know when you're in a piece of a family and you know at the end of the day those are your parents like no matter what and you love them because that's all you know but so frustrating but i finally finished reading it and what i found crazy was that her mother like i said her parents were abusive not physically but like emotionally and um her so the book is called educated and her mother wrote a book called educating basically like dismissing everything that her daughter wrote in her, her book like what tara wrote in her book <laughs> it's just crazy that the mother and like they're so like brainwashed and so like one way that like they refuse to believe like anything else could be true and she basically is like oh my god my daughter is depressed and has issues and she needs healing and that's why you know every story and everything that happened in her life was not really like that like basically saying like oh my daughter made that up but it's just crazy so i finally finished that like i said five million times and i want other books to read i realize i don't have any more books that like i really want to read i have like two that i could read but i don't know if i want to read them right now so definitely leave some book recommendations down below um i'm not a big fiction person like i'm not like what you see on book talk <laughs> i don't really like fiction and if i'm watching fiction it has to be like historical fiction so i like books that are based off of things or books that are based off of someone's life or like like that like i'm not a big romance novel type of person or sci-fi novel whatever those are just not my gist so yeah leave your book recommendations down below but other than that for today khalil and i are going to go to the movies at 9 30 and we're going to go see nope by jordan peele super excited i haven't i don't think i've watched a movie with kiki palmer in it in a minute or like anything with her in it have i i don't think i have so i'm pretty excited to see her like you know in action and acting and like stuff like that but so that's all folks i don't know what else this video is going to be about i'm currently losing my mind because i'm bored and i don't know what to do so yeah i'm about to figure that out but it's probably the end of the vlog so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and come join our family. Um, follow my social media, which is always listed down below and will be on the screen. And don't forget, if you ever want to know where anything is, definitely check out my Amazon, my Amazon, my Amazon storefront, which is listed in the description. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.